Well, welcome to another episode of Montana Haven. And today, what we're go doing is we're taking our annual camping trip to Glacier National Park. But you can see there's an RV in the background. We're actually, because of the COVID thing, the campgrounds are all closed except one in Glacier Park. We usually go to one that's way back where you can't make reservations and it's first come first serve so we get up like real early in the morning and get over there before anybody else gets there but everything's closed so we looked around tried to figure out what to do so i'm not a big koa campground type of guy with people all around us but we decided to do that this year just because there's a lot of activities here for the kids they can swim in the pool there's like these little pedal bikes that they're biking around with right now and it's just kind of nice for them here and it's close to glacier about 30 minutes so what we're going to do is we just set up our tent as you could tell and we're kind of getting settled in here and then we're going to go maybe hop in the pool let the kids do some fun stuff and then we'll uh, take a hike to glacier park tomorrow so not sure yet where we're going to go but the scenery is going to be really awesome and so that's what we're doing we're here for three nights we're going to stay right here and we're just going to have a, a lot of fun we try to do this on an annual basis uh, something that the children really look forward to every year it is a ton of work to bring all this stuff for four or five a family of seven five children my wife did an awesome job she did most of the work unfortunately uh, I was working so kudos to her but we hope now that we're here to have a good time and the kids are so excited so here we go hope you enjoy this video That looks like a lot of fun if you're riding. Let's go check out what she's doing. Hi. <laughs> What's happening in here? Hi, Chloe. Are you too excited? Yeah. Oh. Come what? on in to our new home. <laughs> so, as you can tell, we went all out. We went. Uh, real cushy this year. Look at that. We even brought an air mattress, which is pretty taboo, but you know what? If we're in a KOA, you might as well have all the luxuries. Chloe is actually pretty excited. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna find some place to eat here shortly. Are you hungry, babe? Getting there. Well, he's funny. Okay, let's see what the others are doing. Okay, babe, what are we doing today? We're going hiking in Glacier, Glacier National Park. We're not sure where we're going to go yet, but we're <laughs> gonna find some place to go hiking. Yeah, I didn't sleep that well last night with all the kiddos around me, but I feel pretty good today. You look good. <laughs> Here, we're heading to Glacier National Park. It looks like it's really busy, even though there's no campgrounds open or only maybe one or two. And the, all the east entrances are closed to the park. Yep. Came down to a little picnic area here and yeah, look at the mountain, Chloe says. Beautiful. And the picnic area is right beside a river. Look at the blue color of the water. It's really blue, it's from the snow melt. A little bit windy today. It's been really warm. Today it's cool when we finally go to the Glacier Park. Tall mountains all around us. Some of those are in the clouds. If you've never been to Glacier Park, you've got to come sometime. It's really pretty. We're just getting ready to take a two or three hour hike into a lake called Avalanche Lake. Look at that pretty stellar shade right there. That is pretty. They threw him a chip. Wow. Well, we just realized that Avalanche Trailhead is closed because of bear activity. So we're going to just take a little walk back here. It's called Trail of the Cedars. So it's kind of like a, a boardwalk that goes back here among these cedar trees here. So I guess we'll have to find another hike now that that thing is closed. 
Wow, look at that big tree. What do you think, Wyatt? Is that thing a couple of years older than you are? Mm -hmm. Try to reach around it. Okay. A couple feet bigger than you are. Can we see Chloe? Okay, let me just see Chloe. Chloe. It went a huge bone. Wow. That's an old cedar. Huge. It's called Devil's Club, and it's uh, actually kind of a pretty plant, but it is the most brutal and tenacious thing you ever saw walking <laughs> through it. It's got these tentacle spears all over it, and even the branches, or even the leaves, have like these fuzzies, and when you get, get them in you, they go like right through your pants or clothes. They're super sharp, like cactus almost, and it's like they have infection on the end, or yeah, they're toxic or something and they they really infect you when they, they get in you so it's always you got to be careful when you're hiking up in the mountains you don't want to have that get in you that's about the only obnoxious thing that we have around here there's some growing around there they're easy to avoid because they're so easy to see but they're just they're like a cactus basically we're pretty around here here we came out to a beautiful spot. There's some water cascading down back there. Look how blue that water is. Oh, beautiful. The falls back there. Chloe wants to swim in there. I kind of doubt that, Chloe. Chloe, that must be deep. Isn't it Wow, look at that mist going back there. That is pretty. That is so pretty. Wow. It's a beautiful spot. So here we're going up, going to the Sun Road, and there's a lot of really cool places like this that we're gonna go through. There we go. Awesome. And that peak up there in the clouds is called Heaven's Peak. It's a tall mountain. It's a really narrow road. It's even gonna get narrower as we go further up.
Okay, we're walking along the edge of the mountain. And look down there, there's a road way down there. It's like straight down. You'd roll a rock down and go right down and hit the cars. It's pretty crazy. Daddy's gonna hold you, Chloe. I'm holding Chloe. Chloe's getting the the ride. There's a couple mountain goats over on the far side of that mountain right there. They are located right there. I know my finger is focusing on that, but it's that white spot right there. It's really hard to see them, but it's pretty cool. They're just right on the side of that cliff right there. There's three big orange sheep. There's one on this little knoll. You can see it laying there in the middle of the picture. It is right about there. And then there's two more right there. There's one standing there and one laying down right there. They're up here in these rocks, pretty neat. There's kind of a 360 right here, or 180 degrees. We're having a good time. It's super windy up here. There's Mount Clements. There's another mountain up here. That's called Triple Divide Peak. It's just a little further south here. And if the rain lands on the north side, it goes to the Hudson Bay. If it lands on the south side, it goes to the Gulf of Mexico. And if it lands on the west side, it goes to the Pacific. So it's pretty cool. And it's only a hand breadth width apart. So it depends on where the rain lands. It depends if it goes north, south, or west. Chloe. Chloe. Is too cold? Are you cold? Chili. She just fell and hurt herself, but now she's laughing. So we're taking a hike down here. Look at all the pretty flowers. And there's my family. It's all a little chilly. It's actually about 59 degrees and pretty windy. It feels really cold because we had like 90 in right. the 90s. But it's really pretty around here. View is amazing. It's Mount Clements up there. That's the road we came in on. Well, we survived the hike to, <laughs> along that trail, and now we're at a place that's delicious. If you ever come to Columbia Falls, Montana, which is just close to Glacier Park, you have to try out Mud Man Burgers. They make the best burgers voted in this whole area like four years in a row, while three and counting. They're really good burgers. I'll show you them to you in a minute. Fill you in on this burger. Okay, look at the size of that burger. That is unbelievable. There's some fries. There's another burger. It's got this secret sauce on it that just makes it absolutely delicious. Here, I'll show you the one cut in half right here. That doesn't have all of it on it. That's just part of the burger. But it is really good. This is a delicious meal. So how in the world am I supposed to get my my, my mouth around that thing? It's like half as big as that, but it is incredible. Mm. They put mud on there, it's so good. It's like chili, plus a secret sauce. They don't put mud on there, babe. The chili, it's called mud. Mm. It's amazing. Mud Man Burgers. It's awesome, after a hike, and you are chilly, you come in and have a nice warm burger. <laughs> One more thing I've got to, I forgot to mention is that their proceeds go to the poor in some other countries, I think like Africa, and they help the really poor people with their pro, with the profits. So that's uh, another big bonus of uh, eating here at Mudman Burgers. So I, I hope you uh, come over here and uh, check it out sometime have to show you the ultimate s'more right there. Actually, the only problem is we had to use saltines because we don't have any. Couldn't find any brown crackers. <laughs> Graham crackers. Graham crackers, <laughs> yep. Mm. Ow, ow, ow. It's actually pretty good. <laughs> With saltines. Ow.
out. Yeah, we're having a nice relaxed evening. Okay, Wyatt. Then, then Wyatt. Ow. Okay. So, ow. 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 Okay, here's the house that Wyatt and I made. All out of blocks. Pretty cool house, Wyatt. And then we just got done playing tic-tac-toe and he beat me. And I'm pretty good at tic-tac-toe. Or connect four. He beat me at connect four. I couldn't believe it. All right. Now we got to play some chess in a minute. Okay, Wyatt's going to see if he can beat me on the beanbag toss. Oh, missed that one. Ooh, that was close. Stand beside it, Wyatt. Stand beside it. There you go, right there. Perfect. Oh, got one in the hole. Good job, buddy. Oh, missed that one. One more. Two more. Three more. Oh, overshot. Okay, we're going to play some chess. Wyatt, do you want to play black or white? You want to play white? Or black? You want to play black? I don't know. Okay, play white over there. All right, we're going to see if we can, if he can beat me at chess. Okay, your turn, buddy. White's making his moves here. He beat me at, he beat me at the beanbag toss and at connect four. Let's see if he can beat me at chess. All right, tricky, tricky. Uh-oh, I did not see that coming. Wyatt's playing a mean game on me here. He just knocked my bishop over. Seriously, Wyatt, I didn't see that coming. Well, I'm a little bit ahead of him. You can see what I got and what he's got. But he's playing a pretty mean game for a seven-year-old, I gotta say. Okay. Uh, I think I'm gonna knock him out, though, right there. Boom. Got him. I have got to tell you, I am amazed. This is the first time I have ever played chess with Wyatt. He's seven. And he played a vicious game of chess. I did not know how well he could play chess. So he had the blacks and I had the whites. And he just literally, I mean, he played a crazy good game. I can't believe it. For a while there, I thought he was just like accidentally making good decisions. Until I finally realized that he's been playing with the boys and he's been getting good at this. Good job, Wyatt. I was actually a little bit concerned there for a while. But, uh... I did end up beating him, but if he keeps this up, there's no way I'll be able to stay ahead of his game. Good job, buddy. <laughs> uh, that was fun. Awesome. All right, we're playing full. Here's Ethan's turn to go. Dead in the water. Justin, you're up. These are kind of cool fulfing baskets. They're all made differently. This one's made out of like railroad spikes or something. Nice. Good job, Chloe. There you go. <laughs> All right, Wyatt, let me see you, buddy. Oh, try again. It's a tricky one. Look, my first one. Swimming in the pool, playing fulf, and goofing off, we decided to have some ice cream and we came down here to the river. There's a park down here. I stopped by Dairy Queen. 
And now we're all eating some ice cream. And there's a duck that came by, decided to say hi. I don't think she's a big ice cream fan. Hi, peanut. I guess they eat peanuts. Chloe, is that delicious? Some more can more ice cream than I think you need, girly girl. Yeah, it's just a beautiful evening out here on the Whitefish River. It's the same river Priscilla and I. All at the same place Priscilla and I stayed just uh, actually a weekend ago on our anniversary. So we were really blessed to be able to come out here this quickly already. Just kind of worked out. Sweet doggy. You want to come in there, Chloe? Woo! Nice hair, Chloe. <laughs> Chloe, Chloe, her hair is all static coming down the slide. <laughs> 